much. So the goals for this weekend are to do the fuel and possibly the steering. So we're going to start off with getting the uh, tank out of the ion here. Uh, we need the pump to put it in the wagon. Um, so we're going to get under here and pull that off. Fuck, um... <laughs> I mean, I gotta need a second set of hands. Oh, great. Alright, it's the next day now. I've got both the tanks out. It basically took all day, so I didn't film much, and I was under the car. So here we have the wagon one. And here's the ion. I've already taken the fuel pump out of the ion one. So they're slightly different. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. This one has three lines coming off the top of it. And the EVAP system is different. And then here you can see what the difference is. I've got the ion pump on the bench here. So the plan is to take this apart, get the actual pump out of it, and then Hopefully I can put it into the wagon pump here. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm also going to try and work on the steering a bit more. Um, once I know what I'm doing with that, I'll show you what my conclusion is. I'll give you an update when I've got some more progress. Alright, so a bit of an update. Sorry I haven't filmed much, but I've just been working and I want to get some things done. So I swapped the pumps and put the... Uh, fuel pump assembly back into the wagon's tank. So if you come over to the bench here, I opened up the ion one, took out the pump. This pump here is the one that was originally in the wagon. Also I've been hard at work on the pedal. So here's what I've rigged up, this, uh, this bracket which attaches to the original pedal mount as you can see here, so that goes through the firewall and then I hold this all up bolted so the pedal is removable I might have to add one at the top here just because there might be too much pressure on these mount points down here but we'll see when I get that installed so all I need to do now is uh, really sand this down and get all the rest off and then I'll give it a quick coat of black paint and then this should be good to go in the car and won't have to come back out again uh, then I'm gonna get started on the steering hey guys so I haven't been filming much but a little update cleaned up the garage a bunch I put the fuel tank in with a new fuel filter so I can show that to you now painted it as well. So I painted these, painted that just to prevent them from rusting as much as they were. Got the new fuel filter right there and uh, the ion fuel pump. I know I didn't show it but the ion fuel pump uh, fit right in. So that's all in there and good now. I know the wiring. So um, when it comes time to do the fuel pump and the wiring, I know what to do now. So now I'm going to be moving on to the steering and uh, I'll show you what I've been doing with that. Okay, so here's the power steering module. So what I did is, this is what uh, it would have looked like originally. So I chopped here, then I got a uh, exhaust pipe adapter to center that bit onto here. Welded that there. Put a piece of a metal here, I welded along here and here to keep it in place. And then because it kind of like still could rock a bit because this rotates, I uh, made this little bracket here to just, I welded it here and then bolted it here and it kind of just pulls this up. 
So I cut the uh, part of the ion. So this is all just you have to measure it and figure out the right length for the steering. And then that will go into this is off the wagon. So here I have another exhaust adapter. I had to stretch this end a bit to get it to fit over there. So that centers this onto here. And then for the steering shaft, here we have the top of the wagon. This is also on the wagon, except usually it's about it's about that much longer. So I chopped it off here, and then this slides into there. And then what I did was on the ion here, this is what goes on to onto here. So I chopped that. There's a splined end on the end of here. So I chopped that off, and then I chopped this here, and then I made up this. So here we have the same thing. I welded this here so it can't move anymore, and then here, this is the, the splined end which goes on to the end of here. So that pushes onto there. So what I had to end up doing is couldn't do this myself, I tried to get it perfectly straight, but what ended up happening is when I put it on here, it's an exaggeration, but if it was a little off, the end would go like that. So it, it would look perfectly straight to your eye, but obviously a little bit of a degree off, and the end has quite a bit of play in it. So I took this to a steel fabricator, and he welded it up, put it on his lathe, and he says it's within a thou. So, That'll be pretty good. I'm yet to install this on the car, but hoping everything's good. And I'll uh, give you another look as I put it in. Okay, so here we are under the dash. There you can see where I cut out to fit this in. So all here, all, all up there. There's no real process to it. It's just test fit, test fit, and each time cut a bit more out. So it's still fairly structural. It's got this piece in the middle that's left here. I wouldn't, I'm not going to worry about it. There's lots of other metal under here. That's bolted in, so this will just go up. I need to do with the bolts and stuff. One thing to note is, if you can see, you see right there, that's where the brake light switch is. So that gets in the way of the steering, so I had to take that out. Right now I'm just uh, modifying it. If you can see in the middle there's a dot there, so I'm moving it up about half an inch, and that's going to help with the steering module not getting in the way of, of that switch. There may be a little bit of tension on it, but it won't be too bad. So uh, I'm going to get that installed and the steering here, and then uh, give another look at it when it's all installed. Okay, so it's in the car. I still have the adjustability. And as you can see, plenty of room uh, for my feet still with the pedals. All this wiring here is for the uh, remote starter I put in, so I'm going to take all that out now. And then I'm going to put the pedal in. So I can give you a look at that once that's all been done and installed. Okay, so I took the remote starter wiring out. It's a lot cleaner under here now, that's for sure. There you can see the little bracket. That's really solid. Goes right down just about to the floor with the carpet. It should be perfect. So, um, that's all good. So next weekend I'm going to be doing the radiator and some of the uh, plumbing. I've got to attach the fuel lines, do the brakes, the clutch, and just the wiring, and should be, uh, at that point, good to go. And well, we got quite a bit of work done. This video's actually been filmed over about three weekends, so uh, took 
a little longer to do some of that steering and some other things, but big point moving forward in this. Um, there's not a whole lot to do left now, just what I said before, just the plumbing and the wiring, that's the big things left now, and so it's almost good in there. So if you liked the video, uh, give it a like, tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.